Yo, what's up, everybody? It is your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can record inside of FL Studio. This has been a lot of re uh, very requested video on my channel, both on Instagram, Twitter, and on, also on YouTube comments. A lot of you guys wanna know how to record inside of FL Studio, because I guess you wanna switch over to being a rapper or you wanna record people, and you don't wanna get nothing like Pro Tools or something like that. You wanna use FL Studio, and FL Studio is definitely a decent program to record in, so I'll teach you how to do that. And plus, since my new up and coming EP is coming, now, I'm going to probably do it inside of FL Studio because I think it'll be interesting and a good challenge. But before we get to the video, if you can, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and also SoundCloud. It just shows you support. And if you want to support me, there is a... Uh, a link below where you can support the channel help me out and i do appreciate that and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll be updated so let's get right into recording inside of fs Studio. now before we start recording we need to go ahead and set up some things first so first off you want to make sure you set up your audio um your audio settings properly because you don't have them set properly it was not matter so uh if i do advise using your asio driver whatever it is now see as you see i have a few of them i have both the asio for all uh, if a studio asio my sapphire and then asio link now because i'm screen recording i'm using asio link because it helps me with getting the best possible quality for youtube and getting this stuff recorded right but i would say use your driver of your interface if you have a focus right use the asio focus right me sapphire using the sapphire if you have a uad or whatever use that as your driver because that will give you the best possible i guess recording next you want to set your buffer size for recording now when setting your buffer size for recording there's two things to remember uh in my opinion well not one thing really one one or two it don't really matter but the lower the buffer size the better the, the more on time the recording will be and the less latency you will hear the higher the number the more latency but the more processing power you'll have at your disposal to add effects like that but you will have a significant delay so when you're just recording put it as low as your driver can handle if you have um you know usb 2 3 whatever you can put it pretty low um thunderbolt you can put it like to the point where it's non-existent um so do keep that in mind you have tested it test it out try different numbers i like to keep mine when i'm recording around if i bring up my sapphire right here my interface my if I bring my control center right here, as you see, I like to set my buffer size when I'm recording to about 64, between like 96, 64, because that's, you know, that my computer can handle that. And so can my interface. I'm am running FireWire. So, you know, but experiment, I say try not to go above 256, I think. 128 is a good one for most uh, your interfaces but keep that in mind when you're recording the lower is better when it comes to recording the higher is better for when it comes to mixing and mastering because you're gonna be using more effects yes yeah, so keep that in mind unless you got like thunderbolt which can handle almost damn near no latency and you can also record with effects so you got thunderbolt you're good you're, you're you're in the game so keep that in mind so now we got all that set up let's go ahead and set up our channel for record so we're gonna bring up the mixer we're gonna pick a empty channel because that's what we want to do now, there's two ways to record inside of FL Studio. First, I'm show you the first way, and I'm show you the second way. First, we'll set our input. So my input will be, I think it's going to be link number, if I'm not mistaken, it'd be three. Yes, and I got to set it right there. Okay, we just, so now it's set for recording. As you can hear, it is going in. So you hit, my microphone is going to record. Now, also, if you want to hear yourself back, what you have to do is have to route your channel to the master channel so when i put it back you're gonna hear me double so get ready now you're hearing me double because this is what you would hear if you're monitoring yourself um and it's pretty good it's not it doesn't have a lot of delay into it but i am using direct monitoring so i don't have to worry about delay so i'm good i can hear myself on point but uh i would say check that so you can see how off it is a little because your recordings can be off depending on your buffer size so check that in mind so once you got that set up I got my voice. If I want to, I can add a compressor, EQ, reverb, whatever I want to. But remember, the more effects I put on, the more processing power, and I will have trouble recording it, or it'll be popping and clicking, which you get there. So there's two ways to record. The first is the simplest way. is All you want to do is go up here. You want to right-click on this button. I just set it to make sure all these are recorded. Um, that's good. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And what you want to do is you want to hit... You want to aim the track, so you want to arm it or aim it, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. You want to aim the track or arm it so it's ready to record. And then you want to make sure it's on the playlist, so you want to make sure everything is, you want to make sure it's switched to the playlist so it's playing in the playlist. All you do is hit record, you light it up, boom, boom, and then you just hit record. So here we go. 
Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video teaching you guys how you can record inside of FL Studio with no problem. You let go. Boom. And there you go. It is recorded. Now, it's not going to play back, and I can hear nothing until I link it back to the master channel. So I'm going to mute this channel and then link it back. So let's just go and turn this off so it's none. There we go. And then boom. Now, when I play it back, Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, back with another video teaching you guys how you can record inside of FL Studio with no problem. You let go. And there you go. You record your first track. Now, let's say you want to do it a different way. There is another way of doing it. I will show you that right now. First off, I'm going to get this back linked up. Uh, boink. Uh, and then... Well, another way to do it that a lot of people, I see a lot of people do, I don't personally like doing this way, but if you do, it's up to you, is using Edison. So we're going to go get Edison. Bam, there's Edison. As you can see, since I have it linked already, Edison is a copy recording. All I got to do is hit record and play. And now Edison is recording my vocals. As you can see, um, you can also pause that. You can have it go uh, and record on play, which I usually do. So when I, let me give you an example. Let's mute this. So Edison, shut up. So when I hit play, it starts recording when I hit play. So if you want to do it this way, you can do it that way. As you see, pause. It started exactly when I hit play. And if you want to hear it back, it starts recording when I hit play. So if you want to do it this way, you can do it that way. As you see, boing. That's one way to do it. Now, the good thing about Edison is say you want to record with effects. You can actually record with effects and print them. Um, basically, what it means, Edison will record everything that's in that's behind it. So if Edison is the first thing on the plugin, it's going to not record. It's only going to record the vocals. But say I do this. Where's Fruity Reverb? FL Reverb 2. Now we have FL Reverb. And to, just to prove it. Yo, 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 FL Reverb in the building. When I hit record, it's going to also record this reverb on top of that as well in the recording. For example. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, and it is recording the reverb. I hope it's recording reverb. It should be recording reverb. We will see. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, and it is recording the reverb. I hope it's recording reverb. It should be. As you can see, whoa. As you can see, it is recording the reverb along with it. It's embedded into there. This is great for if you want to record with a compressor or slight EQ like they do in hardware. You know how they record through EQs and compressors like that. This would be great for that type of situation. Now, do remember... If you do it this way, you cannot go back and take out the effects you without re-recording it. Keep that in mind. So if you do do that and you print it this way, keep in mind that it is embedded into it and it cannot be removed. So, yeah, that's one thing to do if you want to do that. Like I said, some people do like recording with a little bit of compression and a little bit of EQ. So, yeah, and like I said, if you want to monitor yourself, all you got to do is link it up there and you can monitor with it. But, you know, if you have a high buffer size... It will add latency, so the lower is better. But if your computer can't handle a low buffer size, then it's going to pop, click, uh, glitch out, and do crazy stuff and throw you off. So hopefully this video is a full flush, fleshed out video on how to record inside FL Studio. Hopefully you see the different techniques in recording. I mean, there's so many ways you can record. I mean, that's one thing I like about FL Studio is there is no set way of doing one thing. You can do things multiple ways inside FL Studio. It's very modular in the way that it works, and I love FL Studio because of that. Still got some problems with it though and they, they are addressing it hopefully in the future so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like always um if you got any questions leave it in, in the comments below please thumb the video up if you liked it and you can dislike it if you want to because there's always haters out there we know who you are and you know who you are because you're gonna do it anyway but with that being said i hope you guys enjoy like always it's your boy slim aka mr different if this video was helpful let your boy know so i can keep making more stuff like this and let me know what else you want to see on the channel so with that being said hope you guys have a good one and i will see you guys in the next video have a good one everybody